Am I insane? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm crazy, simply because I've heard the voices and battled the godless things in the woods. But I must be crazy to believe. It all started with that damn book, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Roughly translated, the Book of the Dead. Inked in human blood and bound in flesh, the book contained bizarre burial rites, prophecies, and demon resurrection passages. Professor Raymond Noby unearthed the book and brought it to this remote cabin where he could translate it. He awoke something dark in the woods, something evil. It got the professor. Then, it came for me. It got into my hand and it went bad. So I lopped it off at the wrist. The professor's daughter, Annie, helped me fight the evil. Using the book, we opened up a vortex to send the evil back. It worked. Big time. The girl died and I got a first class ticket to the 12th century. I led a war against an army of deadites and used the book to get back home. Back to Dearborn. Even got my old job back. Not to mention, I met a great gal. Jenny, assistant manager, arts and crafts. We were the perfect match. But then, the nightmares came. For years, they haunted me, even when I was awake. Jenny thought I was crazy, but she agreed to help. We decided to go back to the cabin, back to where it all started. She said it would be good to face my fears. Big mistake. Press the friggin' start button, would ya? Let's go. At first everything looked the same, like nothing ever happened. I wondered if all of it had just been a bad dream. Boy, was I wrong. Oh no, not again. Damn it, it won't shut off. Sobar. Gata. Gata. Jenny. Axe. Oh. This can't be happening. Not again. Oh, yeah, it's happening. It's happening in a big way. Now, if you'll excuse me, duty calls. What? Workshed. Groovy. Jenny's out there somewhere, alive. I can feel it. If I can find the pages from the Necronomicon, I might be able to send the evil back and undo this whole mess once and for all.
Come get some. Let's go. Yo, come get some. Let's go. Yo, come get some. Let's go. Yo. get some. Let's go. Yeah. Come get some. Groovy. Yeah. 
Yo. Reach it. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Ah! 
Yo. Let's go. Huh. Maybe I could clear these rocks away if I had something to dig with. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. Yo! <laughs> Not what I needed to hear. Let's go.
let's go. Yeah. Come get some. Let's go. Yo. 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 Come get some. Let's go. Groovy. Ah, nice place for an undead redneck. get some.
Yo. Yo. There. Don't hurt me no more. Just go away and let me be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a minute now, lady. What is all this? You're not one of them. Oh, praise the almighty. You come to save me. Look, I didn't come here to save you. Oh, but you gotta help me. My boys, they keep me in here cooped up like a hen. I tried warning them, messing around with the black arts. Some things men ain't supposed to know, but they heard nothing of it. I curse the day they found them old pages. Pages? What pages? Where'd they get them? Near that old cabin, and now it's soured the whole lot of them. Oh, I tried to stop them. That's when they trapped me up in here. Look it, if you can get me free, them pages are all yours. They right behind me, on the wall. I don't know. Seems a little tricky. My boys were talking about some sort of amulet, supposed to break the spell. But they hid it somewhere. You gotta find it and bring it here. Then you can take them unholy pages far away from this place. All right, lady, you got yourself a deal. But I swear, any one of your boys gets near me, I'll turn them into furniture. Got it? It's already too late for them, I know. Look it, one of them left a key over here on the nightstand. It might help you. Now go before they come back.
Let's go. Groovy. missing a part. You come back! Oh, I knew it! Where'd you find the amulet? Oh, one of your little primates hit it down the drainage pit. <laughs> My boys, always playing round out there. Love the smell they do. Now, quick, the amulet! Bring it here and hold it up by the bed. Listen, lady, 
I ain't got time for milk and cookies, okay? Now how about the pages, like in the deal? I'm feeling weak, cooped up too long. You're gonna have to help me up. Come over here, closer. Uh, ma'am? A bit closer now, that's it. Lady, I don't know what you had in mind, but I never said I'd carry you out of here. I never said nothing about you either. Whoa. Groovy. Come get some.
Yo, tree bitch. Let's go. Groovy. Yes, yet another page. Who's out there? You must leave this place now. All right, all right, keep your shorts on. Are you that Allard guy? Yes, I can't believe you survived. I barely made it back here before the woods sealed my exit. Professor Nobi warned me that the forest might come to life. Yeah, 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 read about you back at the cabin. Look, the professor really screwed things up, didn't he? His soul is restless. The events he caused in life weigh heavily on him in death. I've been searching for a way to stop the evil he unleashed. Well, we all got our problems. Listen, you got the book, right? Yes, but there are missing pages. Yeah, yeah, I've been finding them all over. You have them? Yeah, basically. All five of them? Look, maybe I don't have every single page, but you gotta understand how hard it's been getting them. You must find the remaining pages. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, Padre. I'm not your little whipping boy, you know. I got my own things to do. Listen to me. Find the pages and bring them here, to me. Our salvation lies within those passages. Here, take these. Maybe they'll help you. My car keys? How'd you get them? From a girl. A girl? Must be Jenny. Where is she? What happened to her? I saw her in the woods, taken by the evil. I gave chase, but couldn't keep up. I found these just before I lost them. She can still be saved, but only if we hurry. Okay, so let me guess. You're just gonna hide behind your big gate till I come back, right? The evil still lurks in the woods. Very dangerous. But now that you've overcome that tree, it should be much easier to navigate the area. But still too dangerous for you, huh? Right. Meet me here when you have the rest of the pages. Go, quickly. Hey, let's get one thing straight. I don't like being ordered around, okay? You got me, Padre? Padre? Yeah, nice hat. Blindness.
Let's go. Good, another page. Thanks, but no thanks, Doughboy. My scouting days are over. And so are yours. Oh, 
groovy. The pages. Did you find them? I got your stupid pages. Now what's next? What do we gotta do to get my girl back? Our work's not yet done. You must help me get into my church. Our work? Oh, that's a good one, Padre. What are you, blind? I'm the one doing the work around here, chump. I got your pages. Now why the church? Inside is the path to the Kandarian Dagger, an artifact of great power, used with the Necronomicon. We can vanquish the evil once and for all, but I haven't been able to get past the doors. Oh, so it's good old Ash to the rescue again, huh? Enough! Find a way inside the church. I thought I heard a woman scream. Hey, whoa! Why didn't you do something? I told you, something's been blocking the doors, and I'm weakened from... Yeah, yeah, look, spare me your boo-hooing, okay? Heard it all before. Look, I'll get inside, but you better hope Jenny's all right. Once I see you're inside, I'll catch up to you. Don't do me any favors.
follow this. Ooh. Clean up aisle five. This is really weird, as if two of me weren't enough. Okay, dark tunnel. 
probably evil. That's convenient. Let's go. Come get some. Let's go. Come get some.
groovy. 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 Well, nice of you to show up, Padre. Hey, how about for once you... What the hell? Jenny! No, stay away from her. Hey, what's going on here? She's possessed, you idiot! Now quickly, give me the dagger. We need it to fully open the vortex. Oh, no, no, no. Little news flash for you? No rips in time or any damn vortexes, okay? Been there, done that. Fool, it's the only way to banish the evil. The rift must be opened. Give me the dagger, or she'll be lost forever! So how do we keep it from sending us back with it? Narath al Nosferatos, Kanda al Azroth, al Hey, yo, Alec, get the gum out of your ears. Azkara telal gidam, endul yutuk, azag tos anandato! Ashley, is that you? Yeah, baby. It's me. Really appreciate all your help, Ashley. Oh, you bastard, you tricked me. Oh, no fooling you. Hey, I was gonna get the book one way or another. Just seemed easier to have you do it. See you around. Ash! Help me! Here we go again. I'm coming for you, baby. The warrior from the sky came, the one for my dreams. He made a most glorious entrance. For days I had been awaiting his arrival, since the reign of trinkets began. It was years before that I foretold of his coming. You... you're him. Him? Him who? The one Alziz spoke of. The warrior from the sky. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, where am I? Damascus, in the year 730. 730? Oh, great. Round two with the primitives. Hey, listen, you see two other people land around here? A girl and a guy? Guys my height, my weight, kind of good looking? Uh, yes. Two others fell during the reign of trinkets. Uh, they were taken to the guild temple. Soon after, the mad poet, Abdul Aziz, was cast out of the guild and thrown into jail. He spoke of your arrival. Most thought him to be insane. Killed? What the...? Look, never mind. Where can I find this Aziz fella? He awaits execution in the jail. But the bridge is out and the minions of the guild roam free about the town. I must go. I shouldn't be seen talking to you. But hear me, warrior. Tread carefully. An unholy evil sweeps across the land. Yeah, so what else is new?
come to Papa. Bring it on. Who's laughing now, you primitive screwhead? All right. Who wants some? Bring it on. You're going down. Oh, ouch. Come to Papa. Who's laughing now, you primitive screwhead? All right. Who wants some? Bring it on. You're going down. Hmm. It's locked. Typical. Who wants some? Bring it on. You're going down. Come to pop. Who wants some? Bring it on. You're going down. Come to Papa. Who's laughing now, you primitive screwhead? All right. Who wants some? Bring it on. Turn down. Ah, so you're that crazy writer guy, huh? 
warrior from the sky. I knew you would come to save us. Hold up a minute. I'm not here to free you. I'm just looking for a couple of friends. But you must help me. A great evil is taking over the city, and it shall consume the entire Earth if not stopped. Hey, hey, one thing at a time. First, what's your deal, Shmiel? I am Abdul Aziz of the Guild, or at least I once was. We had uncovered the ancient texts of the Dark Ones deep within the Earth, and I had been translating the passages. And as I neared completion of the Necronomicon, I... Whoa, 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 hold the boat. Stop right there. You are the clown who wrote the Necronomicon? Buddy, I ought to kill you right here. I didn't write it. I only translated its passages. Its true origins are not of this Earth. Listen, Spinach Chin. That damn book has been a pain in my ass for the last eight years. I understand. And I warned the Guild of its power, but they banished me. I had been translating the passages needed to dispel the evil when the other, the one who looks like you, arrived with the girl. He had with him a completed copy of the book. So this guild didn't need you anymore, huh? They just threw you in here to what, shut you up? Precisely. And now your dark half is helping them. They have no idea what they're about to do. And the girl is in great danger. You must free me, so I can complete my work. It is the prophecy. Why should I help you? You cost me my friends, my sanity, my hand. I walk with a limp thanks to you, Gramps. If not for mankind, then for the girl. All right. I'll get you out of here, but no funny stuff. You got that, Gramps? Now what do we got to do to bust you out? The marketplace. Find the merchants. Mention the white scimitar. They will know of what you speak. Now go! That's my Delta. Warrior, it is you. Uh-huh. Nice shop. Love what you've done with it. Indeed. This was the biggest item that fell from the heavens. Akmal would have claimed it if it hadn't crushed him like a melon. Now, how can I help you? Yeah, uh, say, Mr. Merchant, do you have any, uh, white scimitars? Ah, you've spoken to the mad poet. Before he was jailed, he was helping a small band of us. You see, the guild has created a compound, a white powder that will make a storm of fire. We were to use it against them by destroying the temple. But you, warrior, you can now use the compound to help free Alziz. By blowing the door. Yes, it is very powerful, but the powder lies beyond the temple walls in the courtyard. Find a way inside. Bring me some of the compound and some form of fuse. We'll talk afterward. Uh-huh. White powder. Fuse. Got it. Bring it on.
Obama. Who's laughing now, you primitive screwhead? All right. Who wants some? Bring it on. I got the stuff, one sack of powder and one fuse, like you ordered. Now what do you got for me? Take this. My fuel tank. That's, uh, that's great. Yo, Z's baby, listen up. Back away from the door and I'll have you out of there in a jiff. Ah, uh, hello. You can get up now? Okay, now let's get one thing straight, Spinach Chin. I still don't like this whole I wrote the Book of the Dead thing. So if you so much as look at me funny, I'll saw you in half so fast it'll make what's left of your head spin. I mean, you know how I'm... As I was saying before, the Necronomicon is a source of immense power. One can summon the unholiest of evils, cross dimensions, or command an army of deadites. But within its pages also lie the secrets to banishing the evil forever. Uh-huh, so let me guess. You wrote the bad part first and never finished the good part? Precisely. There's not much time. We should walk and talk. The Celestial Temple. Once used by the most noted scholars in Damascus. It is now a place for the guild to study and prepare for the Dark Ones. Inside are my notes. You will need to retrieve them in order for me to complete the book. And I suppose these notes of yours will be completely unguarded and I won't have any trouble finding them. The water. You must also shut down its supply. We need to clear the passageways. Okay, enough. The other me already has the book, not to mention my girl, and now you're babbling about some kind of water? You're pissing me off, old man. What gives? Even with the completed book, they still lack one crucial component. Yeah? What's that? Me. I was the only one not driven entirely insane by the translations. Those with lesser knowledge of the book know not of what it contains. Blah, blah, blah. Look, let's get to the point, Gramps. You keep yapping about the book, the guild, these dark ones. What the hell is going on, and why did they take Jenny? No time to explain. Get inside and retrieve my notes. We'll meet here afterwards. I must go now. If they find me here, they'll kill me where I stand. Oh yeah, and what do you think they're gonna do to me? Give me a big fat kiss?
Bring it on. You're going down. Oh, your mama's calling. Bring it on. You're going down. What's that? Oh, your mama's calling. Hey, yeah. Uh, what's that you got on your face? Bring it on. Bring it on. What's that? Oh, your mama's calling. Bring it on.
bring it on. Bring it on. Mr. Fancy Pants.
guys are in serious trouble now. That's my boyfriend. He's on his way down here and he's gonna be pissed. It's the Sky Warrior. He's found us. If he has found the aqueduct, he may also have the passages. Yeah? And we got this. What's that idiot gonna do with the pages anyway? Read them? But what of the prophecy? Alziz spoke of his coming, and now he is here. Oh, relax. I know this guy better than anyone. The only thing he's been prophesized to do is work retail the rest of his life. I think I know how we can use this stupid prophecy to our advantage. Some of my notes are missing. Without them, I can only work on a portion of the texts. We will need to gain entrance to the lair to complete the remaining passages. Lair? You mean the temple? No, the lair. Down in the aqueduct, home to the guild. Well, this just keeps getting better and better. Any other surprises I should know about? Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go down first and make sure everything's okay? Well, I think... All right, all right, can it. Let's just get to work on the book. I'll clear the way to your stinking lair. Second thought, specify this. Bring it on. All right. Who wants Bring it on. You're going down. Who wants some? Bring it on! You're going down.
talk crap. Bring it on. Going down. Oh, ouch.
Bring it on. Ready. Today.
Oh, that's great. Someone disabled the pump. Decided to show up. Can I get you anything? A cup of coffee? Valet. The nether creature approaches with the dark side. Do not look upon the symbol until it is in place. It is done. The sign has worked. We can cross over from here. We must hurry. The Sky Warrior is near. Oh, the good knee's good. I'll give him that. But I'm better. Let's move. Let go of me, you bastard! This dark sign. What did you say about it? It is from the unearthed ruins. A remnant left behind by the Dark Ones during their reign. Yeah, 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 but what else can it do? If the symbol is looked upon correctly, it will shatter the body into a thousand dimensions. For this reason, we summon the nether creatures. Why is it you ask? I know this. Whoa. Hey. What says we have to go in there? There is no choice. Give me a hand. Oh, blasted door. Must be stuck. Looks like it's kicked to a... Th I'm getting too old for this. Yeah, yeah, look, we're here, finally. Now tell me what's going on. Why is all this happening? I fear your dark self is attempting to finish what the guild began. To bring the Dark Ones back to this world to reign over man. Your Jenny will be sacrificed as part of the ritual to open the gateway to their realm. Sacrificed? Quick, where's this gateway you're talking about? Here, in the lair. This place is built around the ruins of a temple once inhabited by the Dark Ones. When they ruled the Earth long ago, here we uncovered the portal to the Cathedral of the Dead, the gateway between our worlds. But to enter, we need the Dark Sign. It serves as a key. Uh-huh. Point the way. There, in the catacombs. But first, you will need a familiar to retrieve the sign. Oh, come on. Why can't I just go and get it? Fool! The catacombs are filled with such things that your mind would be seared at a mere glance. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna have to go with you on this one. Go into the lab and retrieve one of the familiars while I begin work on the remaining translations. Move carefully. Guards may still remain. Oh, the half-invisible guys. Yeah, yeah, read about them back at the temple. See? I'm not as dumb as I look. But I didn't... Shut it, okay? Just... shut it.
<laughs> I got you now, you little sucker. Is the familiar? I killed them. All of them? They attacked me. Those creatures were summoned from worlds beyond. They were the product of years worth of arcane research. What is there an echo in here? They attacked me. And what is this you brought me? Oh, uh, that's my hand. Your actual hand? Fascinating. Oh yeah, real peachy. Now come on, what do we do to get the sign? It is possible, yes. I might be able to grant you control of sorts over your hand, given the proper spell. And, uh, you got that spell handy? Ooh, sorry. Uh, for what? Never mind. The spell is in the Sanctum Sanctorum of the library. I was never allowed inside. You will have to figure out how to enter. Naturally. While in a trance, you will have complete control of your former appendage. 
but a warning. Your souls are intertwined. If it dies, you die. Thanks for the heads up. Now come on, let's light this candle. Salako nanganda ebo. Salak kanda ezak. Nambratha vok. The hand lives. Oh, I saw some bones back there. Strange looking. Very big. Definitely not human. The remains of Dark Ones from ages past. You live only because you saw them through the perception of your hand and not your own eyes. What are you talking about? If looked upon with your own eyes, you'd become a mass of quivering, insane jelly, unable to think or move or function ever again. Ever. Okay. Hey, you finished the book? Yes. The Necronomicon is now complete. The new pages contain the recitations needed to seal the gateway between our worlds. Once inside the cathedral, these words must be spoken aloud on the altar. That should forever exile the Dark Ones to their realm. Okay, great. But what happens after that? How do me and Jenny get home? The same way you arrived. The book. We will use it to reopen the vortex and send you back to your time. Now quickly, we must find the other before he completes the ritual. Way ahead of you. Wait! Stop! What now? Hmm. Where is it? Oh yes, here it is. This is of supreme importance. In order to safely enter the cathedral, I must first recite these words of protection. Yeah, it seems simple enough. <clears throat> Mentos, Akbar. Oh, wait a moment. Oh, this is just great. Between you and me, pal. Let the girl go. Oh no. This is between the three of us. Once the portal has opened, she will be consumed by the Dark Ones, and the crossover will begin. As for you, your death will be my calling card. You see, the prophecy is actually important to them. Oh, you mean the prophecy where I kill you and stop the Dark Ones from coming over? Semantics. Either way, we'll all be pleased to see you. Dead. Oh yeah, right. You think those things will make you some sort of god once I'm gone? I got two words for you, pal. You're crazy. Not crazy. Just bad. Good. Bad. I'm the Ash with the Chainsaw. Am I insane? Thank you. 
Am I insane? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm crazy, simply because I've heard the voices and battled the godless things in the woods. But I must be crazy to believe. It all started with that damn book, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Roughly translated, the Book of the Dead. Inked in human blood and bound in flesh, the book contained bizarre burial rites, prophecies, and demon resurrection passages. Professor Raymond Noby unearthed the book and brought it to this remote cabin where he could translate it. He awoke something dark in the woods, something evil. It got the professor. Then, it came for me. It got into my hand and it went bad. So I lopped it off at the wrist. The professor's daughter, Annie, helped me fight the evil. Using the book, we opened up a vortex to send the evil back. It worked. Big time. The girl died and I got a first class ticket to the 12th century. I led a war against an army of deadites and used the book to get back home. Back to Dearborn. Even got my old job back. Not to mention, I met a great gal. Jenny, assistant manager, arts and crafts. We were the perfect match. But then, the nightmares came. For years, they haunted me, even when I was awake. Jenny thought I was crazy, but she agreed to help. We decided to go back to the cabin, back to where it all started. She said it would be good to face my fears. Big mistake. Press the friggin' start button, would ya? Let's go. At first everything looked the same, like nothing ever happened. I wondered if all of it had just been a bad dream. Boy, was I wrong. Oh no, not again. Damn it, it won't shut off. Jenny. Axe. Oh. This can't be happening. Not again. Oh, yeah, it's happening. It's happening in a big way. Now, if you'll excuse me, duty calls. What? Work shed. Jenny's out there somewhere. Come get some. Let's go. Yo, come get some. Let's go. Come get some. Let's go. Yo, 